The next thing you know, I saw all these guys next to 08 gets triggered. 401ks became 201k, right? And so people were hammered in 08, 09. Guess what I was doing? I'm like, oh snap, I got cash. I got credit. I didn't over leverage myself. So what you need right now to take advantage of this market, if, if you are really excited about being the next millionaire, you need what? Cash or else you're gonna miss out. Right now, just think about this season. There's a season for everything, right? Didn't we just go through a, a, a winter and spring? Are we like, based on days like today, are we entering summer? Yeah. And then we're gonna have a fall, right? Right now, we've just been through as an economy. We're gone through the, uh, we're going through the winter season. We're about to go through a winter. It's gonna be winter's coming. Okay, okay. I, I know the Game of Thrones people. Okay, winter's coming, right? And so when winter comes through, uh, you are there to get ready to plant those seeds. Okay. 23 years of this business. The interesting thing I have right now, I started this business when I was 24, 25 years old. Okay, I'm 48 today, okay? I have an interesting thing about perspective. Why? Because I remember when I was sitting in your chairs. What happened in 2001? Anybody remember what happened in 2001? Yeah. Terrorist attack, and already the economy is already going through a, from his white 2K to a tooth decay, you name it, right? <laughs> the economy already started crashing at that point, and 9-11 just, boom, just, Knocked it out. So 9-11 was just a major triggering effect to create the dot-com bubble. The, you know, all these companies, dot-com, this, dot-com, this, that. Everybody's putting all their money inside dot Like, that's why I paused when I saw crypto. Because it reminded me of the dot-com bubble. I mean, oh, I saw this shit. There are trends. Trends happen. Values and premiums, trends. I see a trend. Okay. I said, how do I make money throughout this recession? And I realized at that point, I started rolling over my mother's money into index annuities. And guess how much my, my, my mother and uh, many of my clients lost during the dot-com bubble? Zero. I'm like, bro, I'm onto something. I'm not so sure if this is magic or is a miracle, but man, my mother's like, her money's like this. And my, my, I had to consolidate four or five of my mom's uh, 401ks into one IRA and inside the index annuity, because here's an IRA, right? It's gotta be funded with something. What can you fund an IRA with? Like what? Yeah, if it's, if it's a self-directed IRA, gold, collectibles, land, real estate, you can put inside an IRA. What do we, what do we fund IRAs with? Index annuities, okay? So we roll over, index annuities. This index annuity grew, stock market crash, my mother's like this. Okay, so what happened? Boom. Real estate, we started to climb, real estate was starting to climb, we started to climb, we started to climb, okay? Real estate. People in 2005, 2006, 2000 making a lot of money in real estate. I remember everybody's driving down Hummers, like wow, everybody's driving down the city of Chicago. Everybody's balling out, 2005. What was I doing? Still selling life insurance. And I'm thinking to myself, am I in the wrong industry? So what did I do? I dabbled in real estate, not during the downside, but during kind of like the uptick. When, when do you make money in, in, in a market? When it's down or when it's, when it's, when it's uh, uh, medium to high? When it's down, it's, it's bottom down, okay. I thought it was gonna be uh, fancy. So what did I do? I had good credit, I had good cash. I bought uh, three or four apartment buildings, no money down. I had what called ninja loans. You remember those ninja loans? No income, no job, approved. <laughs> <laughs> approved. <laughs> if, you, if, you think, if you think I'm nuts, go watch the movie, The Big Short. Explains the whole scenario, okay? And next thing you know, I saw all these guys next to 08 gets triggered. 401ks became 201ks. <laughs> I saw people's $500,000 homes that they refinanced to the hilt. Next to you know, their $500,000, $450,000 mortgage. Next to you know, $350,000 homes, $450,000 mortgage. I'm like, would you just give the keys back? Go move into an apartment. Right? And so people were hammered in 08, 09. Guess what I was doing? I'm like, oh, snap. I got cash. I got credit. I didn't over leverage myself. What am I about to do? And that's when my infamous story about me buying a BMW off a guy who was in real estate, that's when the, that story's crazy. You get, I don't have time for that story right now. But just know I, I flipped a, a $60,000 investment to buy some guy's a BMW. I flipped that into a, a $90,000 uh, sale of that car. And I flipped that into buying a real estate deal. I flipped that $90,000 to $130,000 from 60 grand. So what you need right now to take advantage of this market, if, if you are really excited about being the next millionaire, you need what? Cash. Cash or else you're gonna miss out. So, we're, you have the opportunity to capitalize off this market crash.
You are going to be financial assistance for everybody. <laughs> Say, I'm the bank. I'm the bank. Yeah, if you play your cards right. Now, here's the thing. If you make the right moves, you're going to win big time. And I want to encourage you and let you know your move here was already a right move. Pete, you got involved in the right industry. The biggest benefit that you have today that I didn't have when I was going through this recession, I went to, I went to two of them. I went through the 01.com bubble. I went through the 08, 09, great recession. God bless you. Guess what I didn't have? I didn't have a mentor and upline. Guess what you have? And by the way, I'm not assuming that I, I'm anybody's mentor. Because some people say, you're a mentor, but yet they don't listen to me. Don't tell me I'm a mentor or a coach to you unless you're willing to listen. Empty your daggone cup. Right? Don't be the fool that has to learn things the hard way. There's a difference between a recession and a stock market crash. Let's talk about stock market crash real quick. Stock market crash is a sudden, dramatic decline of stock, stock prices across a major cross-section of a stock market, resulting in significant loss of paper wealth. Crashed are di crashes, are, crashes are driven by panic selling and underlying economic factors. They are often followed by speculation and economic bubbles. But when a stock market crashes, usually it what? Re Rebounds. Rebounds and recovers. What's a recession? A period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, great, uh, generally identified by fall in the GDP in two consecutive quarters. What's GDP? Gross domestic product, the, basically the production of the United States of America. Eight steps to prepare for the market crash. Number one, anticipate. Number two, risk tolerance. Some of you guys, some of you guys right now need to make sure you, get, you boost up your credit, your credit score. So therefore, you just don't lean in your cash, but you also get corporate credit, business credit, personal credit. You guys should be doing everything right now to boost up your personal credit score. Because guess what happens? The people with credit score and cash win during this moment. So cool, th cool thing is, in the next 30, 60, 90 days, you guys improve your credit. Make and how do you improve your credit if you have a bad credit score? I got collections, Matt. You don't understand. I got collections. I got this. I got that. Guess what the fastest way to fix your credit is? Exactly. Make more money. Pay off the damn debt. Get your utilization down. Right? Even though you don't have to pay back the collection companies, just pay them back anyway. Just therefore, they can give you a letter of clearance so they can remove this stuff off your credit report. If you, by the way, does everybody here have a credit karma or experience on, on their phone? You should be checking your credit score every day. Just like you do your bank app. Okay. Carry cash. Cash is king. <clears throat> in, a, in, in, a, in a recession, by the way, you, you've heard me say uh, uh, cash flow is king. Uh, 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 credit is queen. Cash in bank, just to say I'm retiring from it, is for jokers. But when it's positioned for investment, cash is king. Avoid major real estate deals. Have a serious business plan in place. 5% precious metals. You guys see me uh, walk around with uh, gold and silver? Have I, have I shown those, those yeah. to you? Yeah. Have a bunch of bars, silver. I think a uh, spot rate for silver right now is $21 an ounce. You can buy a big fat bar for $2,100. You get five, five bars, that's 10,000 bucks. You can stack five bars, put it in a safe. They're good. Uh, uh, this, by the way, this watch I just bought, I just gave him a, <laughs> a silver bar. <laughs> Protect your career. If you're a zero five, become an eight to nine quickly, okay? In other words, you gotta get better. So right now, what skills do you think you need to improve? Let's be tangible. Prospecting, Prospecting maybe social media campaigning. How about uh, uh, increasing your self-confidence? How do you increase your self-confidence, by the way? Confidence. Easiest way to increase your confidence is the acquisition of skills. Why do we, why do we hone on trainer trainers so much? Because you guys gonna get the Skills. If you miss train to train, you missed it. Okay? This is why I ask you to qualify for everything. everything. Okay, because that's the ability for you to acquire skills. Because what happens you acquire skills? Then you're able to use them. use them and do it. And guess what happens? You use it to do it. You win, you lose, you learn. And then you do it again. You get more you get more results. And guess what happens? You get more results, you get more cash. Listen, I was never a good student. I'm gonna be posting a video here. I'll wrap up with this. i uh, I, I'm gonna post a video here because my sister surprised me for my birthday. My birthday ain't until October. She gave Kuya, which means older brother in Filipino. Kuya opens present up. I opened it up because I've been looking at this for I don't know how long. Because we lost everything in Chicago. Our homes flood all the time in the basement, and that's where I lived. I lived in the basement. Stuff got washed out. I was in the military. You know, it, the guys probably threw it all out. And I was looking for this thing. This amazing document that I earned. And what is it? My high school diploma. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. I'm about to hang that. I'm a, yeah, exactly. Praise the Lord. I'm about to hang that high school diploma right next to my insurance license. Those two things changed my life. Yeah, baby. But here's, here's where I'm at. I got that high school diploma, 2.2 GPA. Let's go. 
I was so proud. Two, I, just enough to stay on the field to play sports. But I was a poor student, but I did just enough to stay eligible. And here's the thing, here's what I didn't know about me as a student. I'm really bored about a subject if I'm not making money. But the moment there's a benefit for studying a subject, you know, so, yo, what? A thousand dollars on the line, I better learn this thing. I better, man, I love these illustrations. No, oh, Tamara Taffer Defra, woo, right? right? I'm learning everything, why? Because money is on the, like, and maybe some of you learn like me, right? Like how many guys, uh, like here's Shanna, when's the deadline? Next week, okay, I'm ready. What? My homework's done, the deadline's next week. I know, I'm done. Well, when you started, okay, fellas, I'm the, I'm the guy that goes Christmas shopping on Christmas Eve, that's me, okay? Five o'clock at eight, all right? I'm ready to go, I got three hours in the mall, I'm ready to go, okay? We've been there. Gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, guys, I'm going to turn it over to my wife. She's got some things to share with you to compliment the subject. Please give it to my wife, Sheena Zavala. <laughs>